By far one of the hottest topics in the game, especially right now since the 1.7 update, is the M4. The question is, should it be nerfed or should it be left alone? We're going to break everything down. I want you to sit back, relax, and let's jump right into the video. What's going on guys? This is Riggs. And what we're going to be talking about is something that has been going on for literally years in this game. And that is the M4. Should it be nerfed or should it be left alone? It's been ongoing. We're going to talk about both sides. Uh, is it a good idea? Is it a bad idea? Of course, I want you guys to sound off in the comment section. One thing, in case you're new to the channel, one thing we like to do here is we like to... We like to talk about the things that not many other people are talking about. I'm going to give you guys a voice. The way you do that is to let me know your opinion in the comment section. Let's get the conversation started. Let your voice be heard. So the reason why it's such a big issue now, I mean, it's always kind of been out there. It's always been something that's been discussed, but more so now since the 1.7 update. Why is that? Because weapons like the DP-28 receiving not just a nerf, but a hard nerf. And then you have other weapons such as the SKS, the SLR, the Mini-14, and even the VSS receiving some sort of a buff uh, since, since the, the new patch. And the reason why they went ahead and nerfed something like the DP-28 is because, to their own words... Like literally, and I quote, the DP-28 was too powerful, uh, but guns that were underutilized, you know, such as, again, the SKS, SLR, Mini-14, and VSS, they went ahead and gave those weapons buffs because they're trying to switch up the meta. They want people to start using DMRs. Uh, bolt actions have been toyed with uh, a little bit throughout the years. Another weapon and many weapons that have received buffs are pretty much all the SMGs at one point or another. The Uzi, we've had the Vector, and the most recent one, which is the UMP, uh, which is by far one of the best CQC weapons within the game. So bringing the, something like the UMP into the meta really shook things up, but... It's interesting. They we it's clear that PUBG wants to change the meta. They don't like what where the meta has been going. Yet they don't touch the M4. Why? The first argument People that are pro M4, meaning uh, they want to leave the weapon alone. They want to leave it how it is. Their argument is this. They, they like the accuracy, uh, the easy handling, the accessibility, the fact it's available on all maps. Uh, by far one of the easiest weapons to just pick up and start using, whether you're a beginner in the game, whether you're literally a, a signed pro playing esports in this game, the M4 is very easy to use, even more so for iPad players and people using gyro on phone. Another thing you have to understand is the last thing this company wants to do, we have to understand, this is a company at the end of the day which has to do what a company is all about. They're about money, right? Think of the money invested. We're talking the Glacier M4. We're talking the Fool, all right? I mean, there's so many. Think of, No weapon has received more gun lab skins and just skins in general than the M4. So doing something like nerfing it, the people that paid money that opened their wallets to spend on this game would be very, very upset if you touch the M4. Now, people that want the weapon nerfed, that don't like it how it is right now in the current meta, is they believe that the weapon is too easy. It's The game is not challenging enough. And because of that, that makes it unbalanced. You can touch every single gun in the game if you leave the M4, uh, People are still going. People are still going to be picking it up. You know what I'm saying? So the the whole meta is kind of off tilt, uh, and because of that, that makes it a stale meta. A lot of people that are for the M4 being nerfed, meaning changing how it is right now in the game, um, is the stale meta that they're just. It it just starts to become boring after a while. 
because that's what everybody's using. It's just M4, M4, M4. M4 close range, mid range, long range. All right, now, again, you have to understand it's a very difficult, those are the two arguments. You have to understand it's a very difficult situation. If you make the game, or the M4, uh, if you make the game too easy, what's gonna happen? People are going to get bored of the game. They'll stop playing it. If you make it too hard, um, people especially, and you guys have to understand, a lot of you guys that watch the channel are like straight up like veterans, you're OGs. We have so many season one players, conquerors. I mean, not only top 100, top 10 people that watch the channel. And I love that that this channel appeals uh, you know, to these types of players. I love it. But we have to also understand, all of us have to understand, there's a lot of newer players that also come into the game. If you do something like nerf the M4, what's gonna happen to the regular players? We're talking the casuals. They're gonna end up leaving the game if you make it too hard for them. If someone downloads the game and picks it up, and something like the M4, which is which again is almost more other than pistol, I think it's one of the only weapons that's available on every single map. Um, I mean, there, there are a few, but it's only a select few weapons uh, that are available on every single map. The M4 being one of them. If you make it to where uh, all the ARs, and we're, we're not just talking the M4, we're talking the Scar L, we're talking the G36C, which some say even uh, outperforms the M4 as far as, as far as recoil profile and so on, people are going to leave the game. What's going to happen if a bunch of people leave the game? It's going to have an impact on something. It, it, not, it, will, it will impact every corner, every aspect of the game to include match wait times and we've all been down that road before where you hit start and it takes 10 or 15 minutes to get into a match that's what you don't want to do the casuals fill that gap this game is not just filled with tryhards sweats and pro players you know we have to be realistic about it um and that will have a direct impact on the overall health of pubg mobile which again is what we don't want so my here's my question to you guys all right this is if you made this far into the video congratulations drop a like if you didn't when you first clicked now i know you guys have been asking okay what does Riggs think is he going to give us an answer should it be nerfed or should it not here is my answer to the question i wouldn't mind the m4 being nerfed ever so slightly the question i have for you guys is how would the nerf look a lot of people scream and shout on Twitter, on Instagram. You see memes all the time in the live streams, but no one ever actually says, they just say, nerf the M4, you know, it's, it's too OP. But no one ever actually says how the nerf should look. How should it be nerfed? What should the game do to make it, you know, still enjoyable for new players, but still challenging enough for pro players where you kind of divide uh, the scale gap a little bit? Are we talking, do you want to increase the recoil of the M4? Do you want to leave the recoil profile, but lessen the damage? Do you want to do something like reduce the bullet speed? That would be huge. And that would kind of eliminate uh, those long range sprays. We're talking those 250 meter sprays that people do, uh, you know, with 6X dialed down to three. Hell, some people are doing it with just a full 6X, uh, if you have your sensitivities right. You know, the, those long M4 sprays, do you, re, do you um, reduce the bullet speed so you can't hit those shots as easy? Do you adjust the spawn rate? Do you make it to where the M4 is not available on every single map? Therefore, people are what? They're, li they're literally going to be forced to pick up other weapons. That's the question. That's the main purpose of this video. Because we, we know Tencent. We know they're lurking. Hi, Tencent. We know they're out there. How would the nerf look? What should they do? Again, understand if this weapon receives a nerf, it could have a huge impact on the overall health and well-being of the game. Not only for the whales that have spent a lot of money on the game, but specifically for the casuals, the everyday average player. Not everyone's a pro out there. Hell, the, I would say 97% of the people um, are, aren't even close to that level of many of you you know watching the channel so that's a big one now one thing that we can't ignore it's not just the m4 that has made the game easy there's a lot of other things that have made this game easy 
where to the point to where not everyone, but more or less, the, uh, most people can pick up the game and just start playing and dive right in, uh, especially compared to something like PC uh, and even console. So what I'm talking about is auto open doors. We know that that's available auto pickup etc a huge thing that's not in PUBG mobile i think it's i think it's not in the game just because they want to make it more readily available on all sorts of devices whether it's a two gigabyte or you know whether you have you know a, a 10 gigabyte phone and that is there's no no one talks about it but there's no sway in this game uh which people like pc players have to deal with so maybe nerfing them for would be a good thing because there's other things in the game that also make it easier for someone to just download it, pick it up, and start playing it. Those are the arguments. We, we've kind of more or less heard the gist of both sides, whether you're for it, whether you're for the nerf, or whether you're against it. And specifically, how would the nerf look to you? Do you think it's good for the game? Do you think it would be bad for the game? You know, good idea or bad idea? Uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed my take on it. Again, I, uh, you guys know how much I appreciate your guys' feedback in the comment section, getting the conversation started. I want you guys, of course, the only way we can hit 100,000 subscribers if you guys, and that's if you guys hit the subscribe button, and of course, drop a like on your way out. But until the very next one, this has been Riggs from Riggs Gaming.